గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ వ్యూయర్స్ ఇది ట్వంటీ ఎయిత్ మోడల్ పేపర్లో కండెన్స్ చేయమని ఇచ్చినటువంటి మ్యాటర్ ఇది ఈ మ్యాటర్ మీరు కండెన్స్ చేయాలి దీనికి ఆన్సర్ కూడా దీంట్లోనే ఉంది అది మీకు ఎంక్లోజ్ చేస్తున్నాను ఒకసారి చూసుకోండి పార్ట్ బి టు కండెన్స్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఫైవ్ సెకండ్స్ ప్రొఫెసర్ మేనన్ సైంటిఫిక్ అడ్వైజర్ to the minister for defense said for me as an indian it is a great honor to have been invited to deliver this lecture in memory of late jawaharlal nehru our former prime minister and the great architect of modern india he was one of the great indians of our times and was essentially a scientist yet hard who devoted great attention for the development of science and technology in india i want to speak briefly today about the role of science and the responsibility of scientists in national development with particular reference to india in the world of today there is ample evidence to show that the use of science and technology can bring about far reaching economic and social changes in a country this is seen most clearly in the material achievements of the developed nations of course you must remember one point the situations faced by most developing countries today are not identical to those of the developed countries during the corresponding period of their under development however the material progress of the developed countries has given rise to hopes in the developing countries that they can make a quick progress by by using the methods of science and technology appropriate to their needs the importance of science and technology is embodied in the scientific policy resolution which is also adopted by our parliament the massive support from government of india is on the increase in the past 3 decades since our independence we have learned many lessons the most important of this is undoubtedly that development can come primarily through indigenous efforts the early theory of development based on massive capital inputs from outside is now no longer regarded as meaningful even technology from abroad becomes relevant for development only if it is assessed from the viewpoint of its appropriateness to the local situation and it can be absorbed utilized and modified by a group in the country capable of doing so the prime task therefore is to build up such capability this is being achieved in many fields in our country a very successful example is that of agriculture where the indigenous scientific capability has been able to make meaningful assessment in bringing in appropriate materials and technology from abroad as well as in generating a great deal with the country and arranging for judicious application of these to ensure self sufficiency in food production we have learned that science and technology cannot be truly effective for economic development unless there is an appropriate level of effort and support down the innovation chain this should come from the upstream end of pure science through aspects of application pilot plant studies production quality control marketing after sales service and feedback we have to bring about appropriately supported innovation chains in a large number of cases where it doesn't exist at present it is important factor to define on an overall national basis the priorities to be assigned to various sectors and to various types of activities and to guide the science and technology effort appropriately this doesn't mean we can plan for scientific discoveries one can only plan to support an individual who is capable of making such discoveries if one identifies him or her but planning is needed for areas of application and development in the case of rural development it is important to ensure both self respect and self confidence in the community which is approached 
a large number of groups and institutional structures in the country have already started to work on the application of science and technology for rural development.